more in the Rose Hills. I've been here for a little bit. I've been here for a minute. Move out the way. This is the rumor report. I think a lot of people will recognize the voice and the name. It's about Carl. On the Breakfast Club. Lauren came in hot. That's you right. Know, Didn't I, you, right? I came to tell him the truth. <laughs> Taylor, you just made that in 30 minutes? I love Taylor. That, that was so fire. Awesome. <laughs> Taylor just whipped up a breakfast in 30 minutes. Yeah, I mad so y'all tell y'all I was hungry. I got a little something in here. Actually, I ate breakfast at the breakfast club. That's the thing, y'all. It happened. Hey. Yeah, but... Let's get right into your story. So you were uh, formerly of TMZ. Yes, I was a senior news producer, um, which, you know, that encompassed me being on air. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, TMZ Live, TMZ on TV, primetime, daytime show but also just producing the news that is exclusive and breaking from TMZ. Um, work with a very intimate team of you know people who are really good at what they do. Mm-hmm. I was there for seven, a little over seven years, um, oh, wow. and, and recently decided, yeah, I got got some skin in this, have learned a few things, um, and recently decided that you know it was just time for me to, to leave. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, you know, I have a company called Brown Girl Grinding. It's a broadcast media production company. Uh, we have clients on the marketing side. We are in the show development space. But more importantly for me, my next goal on my list is like, I want a show. I want people to learn me and get to know me mm-hmm. and, you know, my opinions. And, you know, I was working on that with TMZ, but I started feeling like if I do this here, when I leave, I can't take it. They're not going to let me own it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it wasn't structured the way that I wanted it to be and that mm-hmm. how I felt like I needed it to be for me to really just grow as a brand and as a company. So I had a conversation um, internally, and from that conversation, I just decided that if right now I don't take this leap of faith on myself and launch Brown Girl Grinding with Lauren LaRosa, the podcast, which will be dropping next week, Mm -hmm. um, I'm always be sitting here and trying to figure out what would have happened if I did it at this time in my life where, Mm -hmm. you know, I have the relationships and I, you know, people care a little bit. Um, So I decided to step away. And you said you asked them if you could guest host The Breakfast Club and they told you no. So I will say that everybody there was excited for me to have the opportunity to do it, Mm -hmm. especially because, you know, there were things that, you know, we were preparing. But ultimately, yes, I was told no. And a big part of that was I saw I'm like, what's your issue with Harvey was because of some of the takes that I was told that you took when it came to Harvey and Trump and, you know, just him and feeling like from not from my mouth that he was racist and. I think that... When have I said that? I don't... When did that happen? So you've never said any of that? No. And he was a racist? So where is that coming from? Because one thing Harvey isn't, he don't just grab stuff out the air. He He's very... When he speaks, he he tries to, you know, make sure he's talking. And it, and it was it was a conversation where it wasn't like I was being reprimanded or anything like mm-hmm. that. It was just more so of like, you know, I have a brand to protect. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that they really knew. I didn't know when I walked mm-hmm. in here this morning what it was going to be like. When I walked in, the music was playing. It was such good vibes, good energy. I feel like I'm at home, but I didn't know what I was walking into. And I think I, as a person that, you know, owns one of the biggest, you know, media brands in the world, he had to think as... Or, no, maybe or, he was going to be attacking. But the thing is, I, I don't think we've ever spoke ill will about TMZ. We've been, between, on, yes, we've been on TMZ. Well, I know I've been on TMZ numerous times. They've called me, reached out to me. I see them all the time, and they supported me. And I thought the same with you at times. Yeah, smoke between Breakfast Club and TMZ. I didn't know nothing about that. Smoke between myself and Harvey. I didn't. I, that's due to me. I don't even think it's smoke. I just think it's him trying to have a foresight. Like, I don't know where that information came from, but that Neither information that he had, it was him as, you know, the leader of a brand, mm-hmm. having the foresight that he has to not want to risk. It's risk over reward, right? And as a brand owner, I understood that. So mm-hmm. even in that conversation, it's still like, you know, to me, it was all love. And I, I had to understand where he was coming from. Mm-hmm. But the crazy thing is, and I didn't even get a chance to tell him this, that conversation is what made me decide that I needed to resign because mm-hmm. I listened to him talk. And I, in those seven years, I've learned so much from him. Like people say what they want about TMZ, but that team works hard. They're really good at what they do. And Harvey is one of the most dedicated businessmen and and newsmen that I've ever met. Right. But when I heard him talking and I began to understand that I'm not just Lauren LaRosa here, I'm the girl at TMZ. Mm -hmm. I had to, in that moment, say to myself, how much longer do you want to be just the girl from TMZ? Just the black girl from TMZ. Gotcha. And that's nothing, they don't put that title on me. The world does because the brand is so big. And I think, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this on air is because I think for anybody that is trying to figure out, like, you know, the corporate structure and Mm -hmm. how you leverage that, Mm -hmm. the best way to do it is to be able to have a partner in this. And 
it got to a point where you know the partnership wasn't working for me anymore so it's it's not ill will i'm not going out and like smoking flames or anything like that but at the same time there was a lot of things that i was not okay with mm -hmm. that i just had to make a decision for myself and, and i'm sure you've seen uh you've seen other people who used to be with tmz they've gone on to have success whether it's nina parker whether it's van lee fan mm -hmm. yeah you know, raquel like you know that's the way it should be though yeah. you know what i mean you should graduate from that room i used to always tell people people ask me how is it working now i say i wanted to go to school for my master's mm -hmm. and this was the best master's program I, I could have ever done, everything that I've learned. I will say this, and I, I don't know, you can't be 100% correct all the time, but one thing I, I will say about TMZ is they have journalists that actually do the homework. Oh, yes, we do. You know, and, and you know, dealing with a lot of sites sometimes where people just make accusations and just put things out there, but I, I've noticed that TMZ does the homework. So I respect uh, TMZ a lot more than a, a lot of these other places because they do the homework. They do the background checks. They're going to give you a call. They're going to try to make sure that information is absolutely positively yes. right before they just put something on their site. It's just amazing that people will uh, be out here having a whole problem with you and having uh, in their mind that y'all got issues and you don't even be knowing nothing Well, you know, a lot it. of times people come up here and say something I was and about they to automatically say, say it's, 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 if anything's negative, it's always you. And I, exactly. You know what I mean? No 100%. Matter, it's the same way that I used to always say to people, like, you guys take things from TMZ a certain way because your idea of TMZ is Harvey. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when certain culturally or black related things happen or mishaps happen, it was people, you. It was it was instantly they either would come to me, yeah. but they take it personally because they think it's coming directly from, from Harvey. Harvey right. So things that are like gonna shock the world it. and hard, they gonna come for you know what I mean, Charlemagne or whatever. Right. I don't know where that came from, but I would just like to see the best relationship possible, especially because there are a lot of talented black individuals in that room. There's a lot of conversation about like bu like building out black entertainment in a space mm -hmm. for that more mm -hmm. in that room. And I think that it's a big disconnect to not, you know, be able to have conversations and relationships with, you know, some of the biggest black voices in the world. Now, that is my personal opinion. Right. I don't know if everyone in that room feels that way, but people ask me all the time, are there other black people there? There are, and they're talented and they're amazing. The Black Caucus, shout out to them. But... You know? Maybe you got to break in and free him, Lauren. You've seen they clone Tyrone. Although you haven't that makes seen it seem like this is get out. Oh like she got to uh, free him. Like this listen, is get out. I ain't freeing nobody. All right. I am minding my business. I have a choice today. My, I'm go. choosing them. Mm -mm. All right. Well, nah, you did what you that did. was your rumor report. Uh, you when we come back. for you. For Bronco Grinding. Next hour, we'll talk about Elliot Wilson. I know we teased Elliot Wilson, and uh, we were going to discuss Elliot versus Drake. We need to call Elliot. Light skin versus light skin beef. We need to call Elliot. He's probably rolling loud right now. You know he's sleeping. We he should call answer him. the phone. You want to call? See if your answer is flip phone, man. We need to, we need to call. <laughs> <laughs> Why he got to be that playing? He does? <laughs> Why he got to be playing Let's Snake? Why Elliot. would you do? <laughs> Let's see if OG Elliot answers flip phone, I man. Hate that you did Jesus that Christ! All right, well, donkey today. Who you giving that donkey to? Oh, uh, four after the hour, man. We need a judge named Tracy Sardis from in, from Oklahoma to come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with her. All right, we'll get to that next. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.